Rowan, I'm excited. Are you? I am. There's over 50 exhibitors at the Fanuc Open House, and this is only a small amount of them. They've not quite all set up yet. So. And we're going to take you on a little teaser tour. It's not a full tour, but a teaser tour of what you're going to see next week. So the whole event starts on Monday the 1st. It goes through till Friday the 5th, and there's panel discussions happening on the Tuesday, Wednesday, and the Thursday. What is happening here? So we've got uh, a Cyberworld robot here. Sorry, guys, can, I, can you just explain the system we're setting up here, please? Uh, so it's a cobalt cell, obviously, because it's white, uh, and it's just a welding cell, and <sighs> difficult to say, really. It's something we've been speaking to the American market about, they do a lot of these sorts of systems, working alongside a welder. So a welder comes in, has 10 parts he needs to robotically weld, so he sets them up for the first one, programs it with the handles, then he'll turn around, weld what he wants to weld. And if you want to find out more, you're going to have to come to the open house and have a quick look, aren't you? <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you so much. That's, That's brilliant. One, brilliant. Right, a very yeah. easy to teach uh, robot welding system. Let's move over to here, the Mazak Smooth. And on there, we have got an easy loader. Now, this machine is, of course, a cobot. It's got datum points on the side. So the, basically, the essence of this machine is that the fact that it's got a vision system on it, easy setup, and all programs get set up for you. But you're going to have to find out more about how that works next week right what's next Rowan so we're doing a, we've got a Lego robot doing or a cobot doing pick and place with some Lego blocks this is just to show off the the accurate nature <gasps> and the assembly nature dum, of dum, uh, dum. Who would do and this? obviously the cobot set up to 30 newtons of uh, collision force so you can put your hand in there and you've got absolutely no problems my hand is absolutely fine it's not a trick <laughs> I think we can set it going again if I just hit uh, run and then the cobalt will continue yeah, as normal run. and there's no problems with me putting my hand in there so yeah again that showing was off good that was good Thank that was you. really Thank good um, okay so you've got lots of different software as well a, a lot of internet of things and then now these interest me these are quite intriguing what are these Rowan? so these are a set of vacuum suckers and extra kind of gripper equipment from schmaltz yeah so i had to i had to have a quick look because there's a lot of people <laughs> in the gripper market right now it's it's obviously quite a large market where you've got people buying lots of fanat robots they obviously needs um, they've got tons of different products, different shapes. They need different, shapes, different, different types different of grippers to pull them all. So you've got loads of vacuum vacuum clampers here. You've got these really strange alien-looking grippers. That <laughs> they're quite, yeah, they're quite scary. Though. Yeah. Let's not look at that. Um, but also, Schmaltz have done a, a partnership with Zimmer Group to do this okay. special quick fit. I can't remember exactly. I think it's like a match fit system. So you can you can go from a Zimmer uh, a Zimmer gripper to a Schmaltz gripper with the exact same interface system. So that's like a tool changer for a robot. See, which is this, quite cool. this is so important because. It's all about collaboration and integration with some of the brands that they work with as well. Just at, well, we don't even know what, well, you know what? It says Shunk on it, but oh, we've got, oh, another black. Oh, no, no, oh, yeah, you no, can no, see next week. Right, okay then, so what have we got here? This is a tending system. Of course, it is still in its infancy, shall we say, of setting up, but I think this is used as a recycling unit. So this is a Delta robot we've got next to a conveyor, which is uh, caged up, and I think, like you say, this is for rubbish. This is yeah. for recycling rubbish. Oh, round the, it's obviously round very the, important nowadays. Okay, um, we don't know what's going on here, so we've got... Standard Fanuc drives. Okay, can I just ask you, if you don't mind, um, what's going on here? What are you setting up? I'm um, basically just setting up the programming at the moment. So basically, it's what gets it all working. And, and so what will you be showing off here? Uh, basically, basically what it's going to do. So it's going to pick the part up, put them on the table, and then basically pick it up again and pull it back. Oh, fabulous. So a pick and place system. Yeah. But the thing is, different shapes, different sizes, different applications, different requirements. That's what this event is all about. Where are you off to next? Well, I was going to say we've got Rowan. this classic Fanet Robo Drill here, which everyone's seen these. This is the small version. I think. Oh, no, it's the medium, medium Robo Drill. It's not being used at the moment. It's got a steel block in there. We've also got some Renishaw stuff set up here. So a Renishaw inspection system, the, the Delta equator. robot. This is, this is super fast. Obviously, it's not running now, but if you want to see this, super fast Renishaw Delta robot running, you're going to have to come down to the open this house. This is brilliant because these go on the shop floor. So of course, um, you know, for ease of use, being on the shop floor um, and temperature controlled units, I know they are. Oh, where are we going next? Oh. Well, oh. I was going to talk about the Renishaw. They've got an example of a full Renishaw probing system set up on a tiny little machine tool here, but ah, I don't know okay. what this is. Just the man. Okay, can you tell us more about what's going on here, please, Paul? Yes, I can. This is a wash, a wash robot. I need it. Yes, you need it. <laughs> Everyone needs it. Is it like a shower? <laughs> it could be, it could go in the shower. Okay, so what is it doing then? Washing parts, we can see. It's washing parts, so you can have industrial parts that you put in a, a wash environment, so it cleans all the swarf and oil and grease off the part ready to go into the next stage of production. Who's using these? Uh, automotive companies. Re really? Yeah. Wash engine blocks, things like that. 
Wow. wow. And um, OK, we've never seen anything like this before. And can this be scaled up, I'm assuming? We have a couple of different models. This is the smallest model, but then we do uh, a larger size version as well. OK, right, Paul, I'm going to grab you and we're going to continue on through. Anything else over here? We've got a Colchester Harrison. Is this going to be connected to a robot? This isn't going to be connected to a robot. No, it's just a standalone machine that's using the FANUC uh, equipment to control all the motors and all the general uh, runnings of the machine. You know what is really popular with FANUC as well? Is uh, We've college you now, so you've got to come with us now, Paul. But um, is how you are a system integrator. That is imperative for us to say, really, isn't it? Because you're, you're like a third party, but comes in, but you want to make the whole situation of installing a machine and a robot as one. Well. We can, yes, yeah. So we, we work with integrators to allow them to do it, but we do it in our own right as well. So we're more than capable of doing large systems um, as well as small systems as well. Right, Rowan, what's going on here then? Right, so we've got decent links this laid. Is, I'm not sure if I'm out, allowed to be in here, in here, actually. This is kind of almost caged off. So we've got some engineers down there. Um, it looks like we've got a multi-draw automation setup with some conveyor belt, some kind of parts catcher where you feed the part in, maybe the, the robot's going to pick it up, stick it in the drawer, um, which is quite a nice big setup, looks heavily industrial. We don't want to give everything away. You can't <laughs> have all the answers. There is also another area uh, which we'll show you on tomorrow's show to take on a bit of a tour around there as well. So, Paul, what's going on here? So this is uh, Ushina safety equipment. So they do door switches, door locks, um, to help guard cells. So when you've got fences or openings into cells, they provide the safety equipment to make the overall system safe so people can't just walk in. So is this for third party integrators who may be building their, their own cages to come and have a look at the yeah. products that are yeah, available? Yeah. Paul, overall, to the audience, um, why should someone come along next week? Because of course we've got all the keynote talks as well, um, but you've got all the hardware and the software. Yeah, there's, a, there's a large variety of uh, bits and pieces um, around the show. We've obviously got uh, integrators of ours with robots, we've got machines, we've got third party equipment that bolts together onto everything. Um, so there's a bit of everything for everyone. Is the UK behind on automation and what do you think we can be saying to people to say, you know what, it is easy, like what should we be saying to the industry now? I think we are a bit behind um, and with the times that have gone by, I think people have realised that they need to automate to make themselves more, more efficient and make more money. So now is the, as good a time as any to get involved and buy some stuff and automate your factory. And you're going to be here as well, Rowan, next week. What are you going I, to be up to? I am. Well, I'm looking at, every, obviously, there's stuff for end users. Like you said, there's stuff for third-party integrators. There's stuff for everyone interested in machining and automation. So it's fantastic for everyone, I think. Okay, next week, well, tomorrow, it's on next week. So it starts uh, November the 1st, Monday, all the way through till Friday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday is the keynote talks. And tomorrow, we'll be giving you a teaser of the other hall.